Good morning everyone, it's Erin here and welcome to another vlog. So I'm currently staying at the W in Punta Demita and I actually stayed here recently in October of last year. So if you haven't watched that vlog yet, I'll make sure to link it somewhere in the video and in the description, so go check that out. But this is one of my favorite resorts in Mexico because it's the perfect blend of a surf trip with luxury resort life. So as you can see, I'm staying in this gorgeous oceanfront suite with a pool. And my favorite part about this room is the fact that we can just walk right up here into this terrace and check the surf every morning or any time of the day. So I'm doing that right now. This spot is actually kind of private in the sense that there's no public access to the beach, but for being an unaccessible surf spot, it's quite crowded this morning. There's probably around 15 guys out on it already. The waves do look super fun. It is more of a shortboarding spot because it's just bigger and peakier. So I'm just getting ready to go for a surf. I have my surf suit on, which by the way, is a little preview of what I have been shooting here in Mexico. Like I said in my last vlog, I'll be giving you guys little hints and previews as it gets closer to the launch date. Great surf suit, super supportive. So anyway, I'm just gonna finish getting ready, put some sunscreen on, wax my board, and then walk over there. So I will see you guys in the water. That was such a fun surf session this morning. It was a tad bit crowded and I figured out why. It's because there was a boat with a bunch of surfers and filmers trying to make a little film and they boated in. So that's why it was so crowded. But then they left so it wasn't so bad. The wind kind of picked up and it's lower tide now. So just chilling. Probably gonna surf again later this afternoon. Michael was filming with the drone and the water housing. That's some sick shots. I feel like I got two sick ones. It was kind of intimidating at first because I was the only girl and there were like 30 dudes out in the water. So when I paddled out there, I was feeling a little bit intimidated. But then I got a few and then I got a sick one and then all the guys saw that I got a sick one. Then they started to talk to me and ask me where I was from. They are like, oh, sick wave. So then it was like good vibes after that. I had to kind of assert myself a little bit. But yeah, how nice is this little plunge pool to kind of chill after a surf session? We also have a jacuzzi in the back, actually like right behind the shower, which is where we'll go next. But this is kind of just like the first stop. The shower is massive and I love it so much. Look how big this shower is. And it's a rain shower, it's so nice. I always rinse my bikinis in the shower after a surf session to prolong the material. I'm also obsessed with my sponges from Spongel. I bring them with me when I travel. They're soap infused sponges. And this one's like this cute little 
flower shape, which really puts me in the mood for spring. And it's so nice because it's like an exfoliator and a buffer and it cleans your skin all in one. So it's really great to use in the shower post surf. I know it's super random to talk about sponges, but I just love this brand so much. We surfed right on past breakfast, so we totally missed breakfast this morning. If you guys have been watching my previous vlogs, you know that I love Built Bars and I love traveling with these because they're super convenient, easy, delicious, and they're high protein. 16 amazing different flavors. So if you guys want to grab your own Built Bars, head to the link in my description and you can get 10% off with code Aaron Krauss 10 All right, gonna snack on this and then I believe we have an appointment at the spa. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Guess what you guys, it's time to go to the spa. So excited, especially after a long surf session this morning. So I'm gonna go and call them to take us to the spa right now. Hi, can we get a ride to the spa, please? Yes, I'll let them know. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. The spa at this property is one of the most beautiful spas that I have ever been to in my life. And I have been to a lot of spas around the world. And Michael and I are going to do a little hydrotherapy session and I'll take you guys along with me to show you the facilities. And then I believe we also have a couples massage booked for us. So very exciting stuff ahead. Exciting for me, that is, because I love going to the spa. Found this little frangipani plumeria on the floor, so I picked it up. It smells really nice. All right, Michael, are you ready? Listo! Let's go! Buenos dias! So here I am at the hydrotherapy facility at the Away Spa and this place is such a gorgeous, peaceful, tropical jungle oasis. It is such a vibe in here. There's all this emerald tile, there's the sounds of birds chirping, and it's just so lush with these palm trees everywhere. We were recommended by the spa manager to start with the steam and sauna first, and then move on to this pool area behind me, which is room temperature and you just sit with these jets and let the water relax you, and then you go to the hot and cold plunge pools. So the idea is to alternate from hot to cold, hot to cold, to really stimulate your body system. So that's what we're gonna try, and I'll take you guys along with me. to get a couple's massage. We just enjoyed the hydrotherapy area. I'm feeling super relaxed and we've got this gorgeous cabana with a view. All right, I'm gonna get in bed. How do you feel, Michael? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> We Excellent. had such a relaxing massage and now we're just enjoying the view. We've got a little koi pond with fish swimming around, there's birds chirping. Quite magical, wouldn't you say? I would say. Hmm. Oh my goodness, you guys. This spa experience has been so incredible so far. So the last thing I'm going to do to finish up my spa session is to quickly hop in the steam shower because I love just breathing in that minty eucalyptus steam. And then I'm gonna shower off and be on my way to go on to the next thing. So I'll see you guys later.
All right, you guys, right now, Michael and I are heading over to the Chevy Cheria, where we're gonna have a little ceviche making class. And I'm so excited because ceviche is like my top five favorite foods of all time. And we're gonna learn how to make it right now. So, see you guys over there. The lime juice, mix it up again. So we just watched the executive chef at the W prepare us a Peruvian style ceviche and this is as fresh as it gets and we also have some corn and some sweet potato on the side. But I'm going to give us a little taste. Oh really? Do you run it? Yeah, because I, I was listening that you were so good, you guys. About that. <laughs> wow. So we just had amazing ceviche that was made right in front of us, and now I'm here with Carlos, and I'm gonna do a really quick interview with him so he can tell you guys what he does because he has a very special role here at the W. Thank you, Erin, first of all, and I'm Carlos Obregón. I'm the marketing and PR manager here at W Punta de Mita. Basically, I am in charge of the fun part of the, of the hotel, you know, like to show you what is the life here at W Punta de Mita and how this differentiates from other resorts and other hotels in the world. We always try to be attached to our passions that are uh, music, uh, design, and fashion. We want to try uh, bringing a little bit of the local scene to uh, W Punta de Mita. There's a lot of things to do here. Excursion to go to Marietas, uh, scuba diving, surf of course, but also you know like the hidden spots and hidden gems that we still have in terms of culture. Every person who feels like uh, it's a young spirit looking for new adventure, here you will definitely find it. Thank you so much Carlos for that interview. Thank you. <laughs> When you guys come to the W, make sure you go and say hi to Carlos. Or to the W Cider or any people from our talent. Yes. We'll be happy to see you and host you. We're gonna go and go for another surf session, I think. All right, we are back in our room and I'm gonna be ending this vlog because Michael and I are gonna go for surf session number two. Just wanted to say a huge thank you for following along with us on our day and our experience here at the W, getting a little insight into what we've been up to. But what do you say we go for a surf? Let's do it. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.